All right, let's hit it. Let's do let's it. Let's get started. All right, so we'll start with our steamer. No, we'll start with the cold open. Yeah, cold yes. open and keep it going. Cold open mm. and mm. you'll be dancing, mm. I guess, because mm. there will be balloons. No. Yeah, that's me. Oh, it's that's not. Fully cold. Oh, cold. oh, it's fully cold. Oh. Fully cold. Got it. Same. Yeah. Good morning. 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 All right. And five, four, three. She said cold open, no oh. music. So we're going to make our own music. Oh, wow. So you got the whole band. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this is Keisha. I am Keisha. This is officially Jorge, my wonderful co host. And welcome to Mocha in the Morning, where we're adding Faleva to your morning yes. blend. And don't we have a great show for you this we sure morning? Do. So tell us, how was your week, my darling? My week was fabulous, especially now that you can go to Facebook and buy a Mocha in the Morning mug. Ooh. Sips. And mm. you can sip with This tastes good, don't it? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> No, it's been so much fun hosting a Mocha yes. in the Morning with you. Yes. And um, and summer is here, or summer it's coming. Is it's coming. And uh, we're going to be wrapping it pretty soon, but we're not done. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely. We have some great things happening for you over the summer, so we definitely want you to keep in touch with us, and you'll learn more about how you can do that coming up. But first, coffee. That you're gonna share with oh us. Goodness, right? Take us to the steam, honey. Okay, so this is the tea. Like steamers popping up everywhere. Yeah. Uh, but these were the two like major ones mm -hmm. that I thought, you know, I know we're gonna hear more. So you know me, I love Twitter. Yes. And uh, you know Casey from MSNBC. Yes. Um, and you can follow her at Casey. Mm -hmm. Well, again, back to this immigration crisis that we're going through. Such a mess. It's such a mess. And then the story came out. It's all over Twitter. It's all over the news. And um, basically, um, at one of the detention centers, yeah. uh, apparently there was a young child that was pretty much ripped away uh, from its mother while she was breastfeeding. That's. I mean, th I mean, it's how inhumane is that? To, to think that this is happening in the United States of America, like I, I just. I don't, I, there, this topic, I mean, right. every day there's something new and different right. that falls under this umbrella of yeah. the immigration crisis that we're going through. And I don't even think it's an immigration crisis. I think it's a so, racist crisis. Hello. Go I ahead and say I think that's exactly what it is. Speak it. You know, mm -hmm. I, I think the immigration, using that word, is just the polite way to state it. Yeah. I'm like, no, you know, this is a racist crisis. And yeah. I really think that uh, we need to continue to push forward and eliminate you know, this from our society. Absolutely. This and those who are making this thing. Oh, right. and I know. And I just know there's going to be more from that. <laughs> yeah. It's just super, super sad. Super, super sad. Super sad. Well, speaking of those behind this mess. Yeah. So your girl, Sarah. Oh, uh, Smokey Eyes. Smokey Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, check this out. Yes. There is a rumor. Mm -hmm. There's a rumor going around. Uh, Latte Land. Latte Land. That she is going to be Gone Girl. Gone Girl. Yes. Bad. <laughs> so, of course, she goes to Twitter and she says that, um, you know, plans to leave uh, without me even, uh, without even talking to me. She tweeted this, of mm -hmm. course. Um, and this is stuff that CBS is putting out there. Yeah. You know, so this is the thing. I mean, the walls have ears. Absolutely. I mean, you know, they're all over D.C. So, you know, she was probably mumbling down the hallway and be like, oh, I can't wait to about this. Yeah. Whatever, whatever. But, you know, they got to show face. Correct. But, um, I can see it happening. I can see it happening, too. I mean, if she has a soul. Oh, she, <laughs> she might have sold out a little bit long ago, but, you sold, know. She, she sold out. Sold out. Hello. You know what? Listen, we'll keep in touch with yes. that and more to come. Let's move on to our piping hot. Hot topics. And yes. we'll be right back after this. Mocha in the Morning is brought to you in part by the Portico Cafe, where conversation, connection, and community 
Create change. And we're back with our piping hot segment. And boy, do we have some things to talk about. Right. Starting off with your boy, Con mm -hmm. Yeezy. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Girl, look. Don't, okay, first of all, we have... Never mind. Listen. <laughs> first of all, y'all said y'all were not going to support music him, right? And what happened? All, and bam. He debuts number one on Billboard. Now, which all his one tracks are in the top 40. Downloaders. Some closet downloaders. Trying to see. Maybe it was curiosity. They just want to see who he's going to say. So they downloaded the music. What you think? Uh, you know, he be, he's stunting. I mean, all that drama beforehand. And everybody just like piled on. Look, and, and just soaked, soaked it up. It, soaked it up. Soaked it right soaked on it up. up. Now, this man has a new campaign mm -hmm. for, what is it called? The, <laughs> the new Yeezy Desert, Desert Rat campaign? <laughs> what are you talking about? What the, see, something ain't quite right with that man. Does a rat. Yes. You got naked women, first of all. And one of the models is like uh, uh, okay. his wife, Mrs. West. Uh, look alike. Look alike. Yeah, and so the campaign, like, it's, they're all like nude, but they're like wearing like. His, his yellow sneakers. His, his yellow, sneakers. His yellow mm -hmm. what are they called? Super moon yellow sneakers. I, I call him his um, yellow buy on wish.com DHK AliExpress. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You can, can you save yourself a couple of dollars. Yeah, so yeah. Anyway, we won't spend too much time on Yeezy. Yeah, but again, y'all say y'all want to buy his um his stuff no more. But they did. And he's debuting number one, all the tracks on whatever. Somebody so. had to do it. Maybe he bought it himself. Maybe, maybe. No? Oh, no. That's, oh, no. that's a story for another day. Right. Oh, speaking of a mess. <laughs> a mess. You know what, though? Like, no. I kind of have a soft Don't. spot. I do in a way. Don't. Because I have a personal experience. I don't care. <laughs> Dennis Rodman all on the TV. <laughs> He's all cried out. Cry all <laughs> cried out. Looking a hot, hot mess. What are you crying about? Dennis Rodman. Get your wife. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Your, oh. Let's watch the video first. Please. No tea, no shade, but what's this little video? Lots play? of tea, lots of shade. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let me tell you about my personal story uh, okay. that involves Dennis Rodman. Okay. So, um, because you know, I can only go by like my life. Uh -huh. And so, what happened was, um, I was in Miami. I was at Leah Blacks, who uh, was a cast member of the Real Housewives of Miami, and she actually hosts an annual gala. And it is like all star. It's fabulous. It was at the Fountain Blue. So I had the wonderful opportunity to be in attendance, which basically means I was just there covering the red carpet and somehow I find my way into the actual banquet at table 17. <laughs> well, so I got a little nervous and so I decided to go to the bar and like get a drink because there's nothing like a nice, fabulous Cosmo to make you feel better about yourself and confident. So when I went to do that, I wasn't paying attention and I turned and I like ran into like this like 15 foot tall person mm -hmm. like in the super bright turquoise like whatever suit with a hat and all I could do was look up and I, I felt like it was like a beanstalk because I was like, like what like it, he's just so tall and it was Dennis Rodman and he goes and he goes what's that baby <laughs> <laughs> and, I was, and this is me and I'm like oh um I'm just uh Getting a drink. Can I get you a drink? Goes, oh, I can get you a drink. I'm like, okay. And then he got me my Cosmo. And I said, thank you. And then he says, no problem, baby. And I was like, oh my God, Dennis Roman call me baby. No. And I was like, well, that's, that was kind of nice. But can I get a quote? And then that's my personal story. Mm -mm. <laughs> that's cute. I hope the drink tastes good. <laughs> but um, no. Well, you know he says he's responsible for the whole, you know, that parade of shenanigans that just happened over there in uh in singapore okay okay so obviously keisha is not about it so we're just about to make plenty hot topic i'm just like <laughs> this brother is i mean i'm just i don't know i'm just over it i'm just over it and him i really am mm. now this one i can talk about a little bit more i mean because you know kim Lil kim first of all they didn't the National, excuse me, the New York City Council's Black, Latino, and Asian Caucus uh, gave Little Kim an award. That's a lot of caucuses. That's a lot of caucuses. Like gave that. her 
an award for African American Music Appreciation Month. It is Music Month in June. Snatch your trophies. She we snatched love, some we hardware. Love that color. Snatching trophies. All right. However, they're snatching houses too. So, <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yes, her house. Her house. <laughs> The queen has what? Yes. No castle. Just no, no castle. castle. So she is snatching hardware, yeah. but she has got to come up with some funds to keep yeah. that hardware and in And she place. called herself the queen bee, right? Yes. Let it be like her bankruptcy. Yeah, take, take a look at this video. Oh, and the hand snapping. Yes, <gasps> yeah, the take a look, take a look. Men, <laughs> men are always trying to put their hands right? on women. Oh. Right. Yeah, King. Yeah, Mano. Yeah, Brooklyn. <laughs> Now, I mean, I guess, you know what, let me, let me not hate on Kim. Kim is a great musician, a great artist. Mm -hmm. She 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 did lay it down when she was in when she was in there, she was in there. Mm -hmm. I guess as a person that, you know, grew up with seeing Kim and being her boss self, for her to make all these enhancements and like I don't even really recognize her anymore. And honey, did you see that last show that she did where she was dancing? Mm. Baby, it was a atrocity. Yeah, it was it wasn't um <laughs> instead of like the jump off, yes. it was where she should have just Jumped, jumped off. off but this is my thing with little kim i will i'm, a, I'm so right or die with little kim yeah. mm -hmm. because she's the one that will lie for you in court yeah, and she that's will. who i'm gonna go with she will she will so, now i'm not gonna pay her house off hello i'm just saying they're like you know i'll send you some m and yeah i'll send and you I, a commissary box <laughs> i put some money on your book <laughs> you know yeah. I, I support i support yes there you all go. right so now let's go to this right here <laughs> 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 So the Wilsons yes. are doing big things, making big moves. Yes. Russell Wilson, Sierra Wilson are going to be owners of the new Portland Diamond baseball team, Look MLB team, that. which would make Sierra one of the only, you know, very few, yeah. but one of the only female, black female owners of a major league team. Yeah. Which is so dope. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And so, all her goodies and everything. All her baby, goodies. Her goodies. Hey, yes. Yeah. So good for her though. I'm a hey, she listen. One time for Sierra and, and the the husband making sure that she making power moves. Thank you. I ain't mad about it. You, you, the, and, I ain't, and if you hating on her Get your life. Well, and again, you want to make change? Own something. Own something. Right? Put, invest in something. That's right. Get it together. And then you can decide whether your peeps are going to like stand up, sit down, do backflips. Exactly. Whatever, and stand by your brand. That's right. That's right. That's the only way we're doing. Speaking of winners. Winning. Oh, man. Like, we're getting so sporty now. I know. <laughs> Go wait, stay. Wait, let me, like, <clears throat> let me uh, get my sporty get voice. <laughs> Hey. Oh, <laughs> no, that is not it, honey. Listen, one time for Steph Curry and Kevin Durant and all those great players on Golden State's team. Wow. Once again, they're bringing home the big hardware. Big. Okay. A straight up sweep over Cleveland. What, are, what do you think LeBron. is like, the key to their success? It's the team. I mean, I, I really think it's a team. LeBron, I think... I mean, if he had someone to help him, they probably wouldn't have been able to sweep them. But right. he don't have no help. He don't have a team. So I, of course, don't think that he's going to be with Cleveland next year. Wow. Unless okay. they do some real big recruiting over the um, NBA um, draft. Well, good for that. Congratulations. Yes, to congratulations. Them. Golden State. State Warriors. All right. But let's talk about. Yes, I know how you feel about this. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, and let's talk about Little Miss Coco. Isn't she? Oh. From Delray Beach, yes. a Florida girl, Once, yes. like 14 years old, yes, and absolutely. she wins the French Open Junior, Junior. Championship. Whoop whoop, black girl magic. I mean, how, and you know, like, I don't care, that the French Open is one of the hardest uh, championships to win because mm -hmm. of the surface, you know, and um, she did that. Yes. I actually watched the match. Did you? And it was like, oh my God, it was a nail biter because wow. you didn't know what was going to, it could have gone either way. Yeah. But she said, not today. So she sprinkled a little black girl magic. And bam, snatch and trophy. And so I'm, just, I'm so happy about that. <laughs> well, congratulations, the youngest, Coco. The youngest, 24 years, 14 years old. 14. 14 years old. All right, Coco. 14, honey. She's adding some flavor to that. Yes, yes. And she looks so nice. I love it. All right. Now, 
Let's talk about another one doing some good black woman magic. Oh, wait, so I feel like, San no. Fran. Wait a minute, we're talking about the West Coast. Like the West Coast is getting. No, I just saw something vibrating. You for vibe, a what, 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 what is I it? I think it's I'm not a piece of candy. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get to the West Coast, and see, you didn't know I was gonna talk about this. You know Kenny Barris, right? Oh my gosh, yes. You, you're very familiar with I'm who very she familiar is. I'm very familiar with who she is. Well, you know that um, Kenny Burris from the Real Housewives of Atlanta yes. had a, a show, I believe, on Public Access. Yes, uh, Candy Ken Coated Night. Yeah, yes. and um, now she's bringing it to... Uh, Bravo. Yeah. I heard about that. Now, Jorge... <laughs> Okay, so Bedroom Candy mm. is an off, off, you know, brand of Candy Burris. Is it really? It is. Oh. And I so happen to be a consultant for Bedroom Candy. Oh, wow. So what, is it chocolates, caramels? It, um... It consists of lotions and creams and candles. Maritalades. Uh-huh. Lubricants. <laughs> Lubricants. Things that need batteries. Yes, all that good stuff <laughs> for your personal pleasures and couple pleasure and whatever, you know, you feel great with. And Keisha sells them. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Bedroomcandy.com forward slash 0918. No. What is it? So, I don't know well, what if it you want to see what Keisha has <laughs> in the box. Go to Keisha's candy jar. <laughs> But good for her. Yeah, right? it is. But it's bedroomcandy.com forward slash 9188. Yeah. So, yeah, if you want more information. I mean, I think it's great that she's bringing her show, Candy Coated Nights. Oh, absolutely. Because they talk about some things that, I mean, we want to talk about. And it's every day. Like, it's sex. It's relationship. It's it's all that yep. good stuff. You and know? candy. And candy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't like candy. We don't like candy, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay, now that's we my can alter ego. That's my alter ego. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, so we have Miss London Breed. Yay! Who is doing her thing. Winning. Winning. She is the first African American female mayor of San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Like that's big. It's really big, especially because it's such a liberal city. It They're is. so progressive and so liberal yeah. and so like ahead of the times. Yes. And what's really cool is like she came up through like public housing. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean she started from the ground up. But, so she knows. And so she knows. Yeah. She knows. You can't say, oh, well, mm -hmm. you know, you're from the elite, and yeah. so your life is this, and whatever. I mean, because it's different when you're running for office, and you can speak from experience. Mm -hmm. When you're talking about running a city and doing things that the city Absolutely. needs. No, I lived in these city projects. I lived through these things, so I absolutely have a great insight to what needs to be done mm -hmm. and things that haven't changed since I was a kid. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? So congratulations to Miss London Breed on, you know, winning mayor. Oh, absolutely. Another girl, yes. another woman of color in a position of, of authority and power to create change. Yes. And we're going to do that. Now, is that it? And that's all we have this week for Piping <laughs> Hot. We'll be right back after this word from Black in the Bay. Yes. Tampa right. Bay. In the Bay. Don't get it confused with San Francisco Bay. We're just not there yet. But we're coming. We're coming, baby. Watch out. This segment is brought to you by BlackInTheBay.com, your online connection to everything that's Black in the Bay. Log on now for news, updates, and events. And we are back. Thank you for staying with us at Mocha in the Morning. And we have a little Coco clap back for you. Tell us all about it. Well, yeah. And so, and this is a little personal because typically we, we, we report yes. on the clapbacks. Mm -hmm. But today, we're going to put our own little clap back in. We're going to yes. clap back personally. Mm -hmm. uh, we, the White House is not recognizing at all um, pride. This, really? Which is June, of course, you know, Pride Month. Mm -hmm. Everyone's celebrating Pride all over the world. The world, yeah. Um, and uh, so, yeah, the White House has decided uh, not to recognize it. Oh, wow. Whatsoever. So, we are. Yes. And we want to say from Mocha in the Morning, Happy Pride yes, to happy all pride. of you. Yes. So, more like, more like a slap back. Mm -hmm. We're right back after this. <laughs> Thanks for watching Mocha in the Morning. Here is this week's Mocha Moment. Hi, it's Keith.
Keisha and officially Jorge, we'd like to thank you for always tuning in to Mocha in the Morning where we're continuously adding a little flavor to your morning plan. And a very special thank you to our favorite YouTubers and fabulous bloggers. All right, so make sure you stay tuned for our next show. See you next time. We did it, right? We got it this time. <laughs>